So okay, in this next video we're going to calculate the variance of a, of a random variable which is distributed Poissonly with a parameter lambda. Okay, so again, uh, r r keep familiar with our setup. We have some uh, abstract probability space over here. Uh, so we have our sample space, we have our set of events, and we have our probability measure, and we have a random variable x which is mapping it onto uh, the real numbers from what 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way onwards, so uh, the countable real numbers plus 0, uh, so the natural numbers plus 0, so it's being mapped onto the non-negative integers, that's what the word I'm looking for, uh, the non-negative integers, um, okay, and uh, if we look at the PMF, uh, PMF of this function, this the probability mass function uh, for this, uh, so the, remember what the probability mass function is. If we call uh, this probability space over here, we'll call the sample space uh, omega prime, we'll call the set of events f prime, and we'll call the probability measure p prime, uh, then the probability, uh, the PMF, the probability mass function, the probability that it written like this, the probability that big X is equal to some little x, is equal to P prime of the um, event that that singleton occurs, i.e. the event uh, that uh, the event uh, con which is the set contain uh, the events that three occurs basically, or the event that two occurs, the event that x occurs, the event that x occurs. So uh, that's what is meant by uh, this set containing that single outcome x. Okay, uh, so. Uh, that if the the Poisson distribution um, and remember this complete if if you know this function if you know this probability mass function uh, it completely uh, determines the probability distribution and remember the probability distribution is just a fancy uh, fancy name for the probability measure when you've got a probability space uh, which is made up of completely real numbers. Okay, uh, so. Uh, from this, you can ascertain the entire probability distribution, the reason being that if you take any event uh, E, uh, that can be written as the union, uh, the disjoint union, moreover, of X is an element of E of these singleton sets containing just X, and then by the second axiom of probability spaces, P prime of E is just equal to the sum, X is an element of E, of uh, the uh, P prime of the singleton set containing X. And the condition for that to be true is that this is a countable union, which it must be uh, if this is a discrete random variable, uh, which it is in this case. Uh, so the probability mass function does in this case completely specify the probability distribution. And the probability mass function for a uh, Poissonly distributed random variable, uh, so if X is Poissonly distributed, P-O-I-S, distributed with parameter lambda, uh, the PMF is equal to e to the negative lambda, lambda to the x over x factorial. Okay, so if we want to calculate the variance of uh, this random variable x, uh, then we know that this is equal to the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x squared. Okay, uh, so uh, we know that the expected value of a Poisson distribution is equal to lambda. The reason being uh, that if we want to calculate the expected value of x, and I'll just recap this, we do to calculate this in the Poisson distribution portion, uh, but we'll just uh, it doesn't hurt to recap. It's the sum over all values of x, which is x is equal to 0 to infinity, because those are all the possible values of x in this probability space over here, of x times at the probability mass function, which is e to the negative lambda, lambda to the x over x factorial. Okay, now just cancel the x with the x factorial here. First, well, actually, firstly, before we do that, note that we do no longer need to do this summation uh, from x is equal to 0, because when x is equal to 0, this is just going to be 0, so the first term is just 0. So we can start the summation from x is equal to 1 to infinity, and then what we'll do is cancel this x with this x down here, e to the negative lambda, lambda to the x. You would have had problems uh, with cancelling this x uh, if, you, um, if x was equal to 0, uh, because what would this thing over underneath here be? Uh, okay, uh, so um, x minus 1 factorial, and that's all. Def that's perfectly well defined uh, for x is equal to 1 onwards. If x was equal to 0, it would be quite difficult. What's minus 1 factorial? Okay, uh, so now we have this, and what we can do is uh, we can just pull out a single lambda out of here, basically. Uh, so we firstly, we can pull out the e to the negative lambda, because that plays no part in this. So we can pull out e to the negative lambda, and we can pull out one lambda from here, and we'll get the sum 
from x is equal to 1 to infinity of lambda to the x minus 1 over x minus 1 factorial. Now, if I write this out for you, it's equal to e to the negative lambda times lambda uh, of, if I write this out, x is equal to 1. That starts off with lambda to the power of 1 minus 1, which is 0, so 1. Uh, because anything to the power of 0 is just 1. And then we've got 1 minus 1, which is 0, factorial, which is still just 1. So you get 1 as your first number. Then we've got plus uh, lambda to the power of 2 minus 1, which is 1, divided by 2 minus 1 factorial, which is 1 factorial. Then we've got plus lambda to the 3 minus 1, which is lambda to the 2, over 3 minus 1 factorial, which is 2 factorial. And it goes on, lambda to the 3 over 3 factorial, plus lambda to the 4 over 4 factorial, and it just goes on. And you should recognise that as the Taylor expansion for e to the, uh, uh, e to the lambda, uh, the most important Taylor expansion of them all. Lambda, e to the lambda. Uh, and now the e to the lambda and the e to the negative lambda uh, cancel one another out, and you just get lambda. So the expected value of a uh, random variable, which is distributed Poissonly with parameter lambda, uh, is in fact equal to that uh, parameter lambda. So uh, that's the expected value of x. Uh, so now let's work out the expected value of x squared. Well, just applying the law of the unconscious statistician, this is the sum over all values uh, that x can take, which is x is equal to 0 to infinity, of x squared e to the negative lambda, lambda to the x over x factorial. Now, uh, that is not so easy to uh, calculate this sum, unfortunately. And we'll continue this video in the next, uh, this uh, discussion in the next video.